Okay, well here's the profiler that I've used for many years to do uh, contrabassoon reads. And it's much like any other single profiler, you must put those marks and you have to look for them and try to get your cane between the marks. And you have to have the clamps on, so you gotta clamp it in place. Tighten it down, it has to be so far forward so it doesn't hit any of this mechanism here. Try to get on there straight, some tape on there. It kind of makes it quick. This isn't perfect, but it will do the job. Get to know the machine, you'll know where to put it. Now that's the center point. You can feel where it drops down on the two on each side. And you see it actually hits in the middle, so we're we're doing pretty good. So we start off to the side. Press firmly and move fast. So we get the whole side done. And what I usually try to do, I go across. I should have done that first. And it leaves a much smoother, straighter a line if you do that. So you go across, you make a mark, and that's actually gouging the cane. You can do that a few times if you want. That way, when you go back and forth, that edge is caught, and it does a really good job. You see there's a little angle there, but Overall, it's straight. On one side, it didn't get quite as much, but you can touch that up later. And if you look really closely, you'll see a little, a little hump there, and that's your five thousandths little heart that it makes. In any case, uh, this piece of cane wasn't very good, and so you can see where the side is. It, it. Uh, the gouge was no good, so you can see some bare cane, but you can still make a good read out of this if you get rid of the bark and are careful. Try to tidy that up a little bit. It's nice to have good cane to start with, but we're only experimenting here, so this is just for demonstration. This reed may or may not turn out. Most likely it will. And I have used this machine for many years to make contra cane, contra reeds. And there you have it. Nicely done and fairly quick. So it's, again, it's very fast motion, a lot of pressure. And don't forget to lubricate the moving part here. The, uh, the bearing should last the life of the machine. The sealed bearing is, is very good, very strong, and probably will not wear out unless you uh, get water on it and get it corroded. Uh, this was done dry. You don't have to do it uh, wet. So there you have it. This is how to use this machine. It's very simple, yet extremely effective. Thank you.